Nigel Pearson, I guess in the second half you were thinking, I love it when a plan comes together. Well, uh, <laughs> it's great for the players that they were able to get the rewards for the hard work that they put in. You know, sometimes you play attacking, flowing football and you can entertain people. Today it was more about discipline and the result was always going to be more important than the performance. But there were some very good aspects of our performance and that, that was our ability to soak up pressure and hit them and hurt them when, when it really counted. So to, to win a game 3-0, I'm always pleased when we get a clean sheet as well. And it just keeps everybody um, on their toes. You know, we go into the, the, the game at the weekend with um, another opportunity to try and force pressure on teams around us. And that's what it's about. What about that build-up, that Casagolda goal, what Martas did there? That was skillful. Yeah, it was it was excellent because we were in a spell of the game where things were not we weren't passing the ball great. But you got to give Circle um, a lot of credit for how they played at times. But we we scored at a very important time in the game. You know, it must have been hard for them to to um, to bounce back from that. And of course, a third goal is a great strike, and he deserves that because. Um, Maybe Matthew could have uh, scored early on, but it's a great goal. And, and for him to come back here and, and do it, I think it's great. I think one of the key points of the game was you frustrated them 90 minutes long with all the long balls coming in. Elliot Moore stood there, nothing came through. Yeah, but it but it's really is a team effort. I think when you when you are defending sort of low pressure, if you like, and, and making them make decisions, it takes a lot of discipline and organisation and concentration so you know you, you can never play perfectly the game is a when you're playing a team sport um, and at the sort of pace that you play people will make mistakes and that's where it's about a, a, a really strong team ethic um, and, and we had that and and even when we went in the dressing room afterwards some of the lads who are injured not in the squad are in the dressing room to see their teammates come in and I think that is testament to the spirit that the players have got amongst them and you know football you you have to be wary because things that don't always go your way you can you can lose games when you play well uh, and so it's not just about the technical aspects of, of football you need um, the psychological strength to to deal with it and you know we've done well tonight but it is tonight enjoy it and then we start preparing for the next game on the way home back to Louvain um, it might be the case that the fridge might contain some alcohol to have a little party on the bus or not no no chance no 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 there's a time and a place we need to recover from this game we need to make sure that our uh, recovery strategies are right and that by the time we see each other next tomorrow morning that we yeah we we think about a little bit tonight but we're starting already to to get our preparation for the next game that's that's what we're paid to do Esteban Casagolda c'est un match important pour pour Louvain ici au cercle de Bruges ce soir un match au sommet pour la deuxième place et vous l'avez bien négocié qu'est-ce qui a fait la différence selon vous ce soir Je pense que voilà première mi-temps on marque sur phase arrêtée je pense que c'est très important pour nous on met le 1-0, puis on reste bien organisé. Et puis, deuxième mi-temps, on essaye de, de rester bien organisé et jouer la contre-attaque. On arrive à mettre le deuxième but, euh, je crois, à la 55e minute, je pense. Et euh, on gère bien le match. Et puis, euh, on met le troisième sur, sur une belle frappe de, de Thieu. L'organisation de Louvain qui, qui fait la différence et puis le fait de marquer aussi des buts au, au bon moment. Oui, euh, tout à fait. Je pense que, comme j'ai dit, on a marqué euh, première mi-temps le but qu'il fallait. Euh, deuxième mi-temps euh, à 55 e minute c'est vraiment euh, top pour, euh, pour une équipe pour mettre le deuxième et euh, le troisième qui, qui, tue, euh, qui tue le match et puis à votre but c'est le premier cette saison vous l'attendiez impatiemment il n'est pas tombé la semaine passée face à, à Roulers ça fait du bien aussi pour un attaquant oui bien sûr euh, c'est comme je disais à, à Yannick Aguemont ça fait toujours plaisir d'ouvrir son compteur but et euh, pour un avant-centre euh, même si on dit il euh, ne faut pas se focaliser sur ça mais euh, ça fait toujours plaisir et maintenant il faut, il faut que ça continue puis vous réalisez la bonne opération puisque vous passez le cercle de Bruges, vous êtes à présent deuxième du classement. Oui, tout à fait. Euh, maintenant, il faut se focaliser sur, euh, sur Westerlo qui revient bien parce qu'il gagne euh, pas mal de matchs. Et euh, voilà, il ne faut pas croire que, que, que ça y est. Et euh, il faut essayer de gagner euh, tous les matchs et faire que, que chaque, chaque match ait une finale. Et, euh, et puis on verra, on fera les comptes.